All right, so it's been forever since I posted a video, and I apologize for that, but went and picked up my boat from the shop yesterday. It's been a long time without my baby, but we got her back. Anyways, today we are on Lake Jordan on the famous Coosa River in Alabama. Hopefully gonna catch some big largemouth, some big spots, but I'm not in my boat today. Came with a high school friend of mine, and we're about to get out there and try to catch some giants, so I ain't gonna do too much talking, because we gotta go catch some five pound spotted bass. Big old giant one. I mean, freaking choke biting one of my favorite things. That spot right there. I'm gonna have to look look around. I've got, I mean, I got a brand new set. God, is that a fish or not? Biggin? Big ol' spot, dude. Gosh! You me grab him? <laughs> Look at this sucker. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dang! Smash the cheddar mate. Is that a freaking lower man? I think so. About what? Yeah, that's, that's what you look for on every every time there's current. It's got to be north facing though. It can't be south facing. In the first couple hours doing that, and then you go skip docks the rest of the day and try to catch three more. God, dog! You see my rod? Holy crap! I, I need I need eight strands of chartreuse and hit a choked it, man. That's what the pros say. Eight strands of chartreuse and that one would have had it goozled. Oh my God. I mean, freaking choked it. But you see, I barely hooked him in the lips. Four strands of chartreuse and it'd have been down there. That, I'm not even gonna admit that was him. It was a four pounder that bit just a second ago. Catfish or something, nope, spot. I got him. How big do you think he is? There we go. It was just kind of sinking and just about picked up off the bottom. Off the tip of that dock. Biting one of my favorite baits. That's what we here for. That spot right there. I just had you fish term. That's a fatty, dude. Look at that. Fat sucker right there. How much more do I have to tell y'all? Got one? Cause you had too much chartreuse.
fat one there, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get that one. Get over here in this current, boy. That's a big one. How about that one, dude? That's a good one. That's what we came home for. Rain's holding off. Big old Donkey Kong spotted bass right there. Big old giant one. Oh my god. I thought it was a giant one anyways when I saw him flashing out there. Cause it ain't. Look at that. Chartreuse wouldn't have made him chuck it no more. <laughs> Look at that sucker. I saw him flash on that uh, limb. I thought he was a four pounder. It's a good one though. Woo. Man. Chickamauga ain't got nothing on this. You want a swim bait trailer? Huh? I don't think I got any. Yeah. You didn't have it on. Well, it is dark and gloomy out here. Just got home from the Coosa River where we were way laying some spotted bass today. Did catch a couple largemouth too though, but got my rods right here beside me. Try to keep the shadow out of my face, but four o'clock in the evening and it is about to be dark. That just does not even seem right whenever you fish all day, you get home at four o'clock. In the summer, I get home at eight o'clock and it's still not dark. So anyways, started off the day, swim jig and grass, didn't catch any. Well, had one bite doing that, probably two pounder. Turned the corner, caught a two pounder, flipping in the grass, and then ran up the river, started fishing current and I'm sitting there throwing my little swim bait down the bank and look behind me. My buddy Justin done caught two back-to-back -back good ones on a chatterbait. So y'all know I keep my chatterbait tied on. So reach down there in the floor of the boat, pick my chatterbait up, cast it a little bit, and we proceed to waylay some big spotted bass. So I believe we caught four over three pounds, one of those being a four pounder. And it was a pretty fun day. You know, I love fishing the current. They did cut the current off at 11. We didn't really get on the bite till like 9.30 probably. And then at, from 9.30 to 11, it, we caught the crap out of them. Now after 11, they cut the current off. It was absolutely done. Could not get another bite. So headed back to the house. So anyways, if you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Anybody wondering, the chariot rod I'm using is a seven foot three medium heavy fast, but it's a little bit more on the medium moderate side. It's not really a true medium heavy fast. 20 pound fluorocarbon and a 6.4 to 1 reel. That's what I throw a chatterbait on, and I'm throwing a net bait little spanky trailer. That's it. See y'all in the next video. Leave me a comment.